Artificial intelligence has ignited a creative revolution. From voiceovers to viral tracks, AI is dominating the audio landscape. I'm sure many of you have seen those viral clips on TikTok voiced by the same ultra-realistic narrator, or played that catchy tune without realizing an algorithm helped compose it. But how did we get here? When did machines go from robotic voices to mimicking humans or crafting billboard hits based on text prompts? Well, in this video, we'll explore the ascent of audio AI and how it's reshaping industries practically overnight. Let's begin with AI voice generators that can clone voices with chilling accuracy or create text-to-speech that sounds flawlessly natural. Tools like Play.ht, Murph.ai, and Eleven Labs offer expansive catalogs of human-like voices, controllable with just a few clicks. Whether you need a friendly narrator for an explainer video, a conversational bot for customer support, or an audiobook read by a smooth broadcaster, AI has you covered. These voice engines create audio from text while letting you dictate speech rate, tone, accents, and more for the perfect vocal performance. For instance, with Murph.ai, you can adjust parameters like pitch, speed, and emphasis to craft engaging voiceovers. So if you want your virtual assistant to sound more energetic, simply slide the cheerfulness setting up a notch. Eleven Labs goes a step further, allowing full voice cloning so you can effectively ventriloquize your brand's persona. Now some argue, machine voices lack human depth, but most can agree the speed, diversity, and cost savings are revolutionary, especially for independent creators. No longer do we need expensive voice actors, vocal booths, and hours of recording. AI distortion and all, for a quick video or prototype, synthetic narration gets the job done. And tools like Play.ht, Murph, and Eleven Labs put this power in our hands, with custom voices on demand 24-7. So have you used an AI voice generator before? Share your experience in the comments. Are you worried about AI impersonations and deepfakes? I'd love to hear your perspective. Next, we'll explore how AI music creation is equally disrupting the tunes business, enabling anyone to manifest melodies simply by describing them. Now with digital mimicry perfected, some voice tools are pushing boundaries even further, allowing full video and audio cloning with AI. For example, Synthesia uses advanced text-to-video technology to animate avatars reciting your script. It's like having a customizable spokesperson at your fingertips, while Murph Studio enables editing voice clips to match desired tones and pacing. And for true vocal impersonation without flubs, Resemble.ai totally captures a person's voice from just a few minutes of sample audio. The possibilities for personalization are incredible here. From immortalizing a loved one's voice, to surprising fans with a celebrity sound alike. Video creators can take representation, inclusiveness, and storytelling to unprecedented levels. But economically, these bleeding edge tools might seem daunting for small teams. Price tags in the hundreds per month add up fast. Not to mention potential licensing issues with mimicry. This is where the time and cost savings of AI really shine through. An independent podcaster can spawn a virtual co-host for under $20 a month to banter with. Animators can build diverse casts without bank-breaking talent contracts. Does it beat working with real humans? Of course not always. There are still clear limitations with AI mimicry and empathy. But for bootstrapped creators on deadlines, AI voice and video generation unlock possibilities once reserved for big studios. Now, even if the economics make sense, the ethics here give pause. As the vocal forgeries improve, we inch towards dangerous as deepfake territory. The same technology that empowers free expression could also fuel misinformation, not to mention posthumous usage and data privacy concerns with copied voices. And while AI creation democratizes media access, it does threaten jobs like voice acting. Since tools like Uber and Netflix already royal industries, this disruption raises financial anxiety. How we respond will directly impact whether AI's creative boom leads to a job bust. So we must consider balanced policies that encourage development while protecting workers. One proposed solution is recognizing synthetic content creators with credits, licenses, and royalties. If human voice donors earn residuals when their mimicry generates value, that could offset losses. Additionally, using AI tools to augment studio projects rather than replace them keeps creatives involved. Because the reality is, AI still has critical weaknesses only we can fill. Emotional nuance, perspective, abstract connections. Humans contextualize content in inimitable ways vital for relatability. 
I believe the ideal path is augmented creativity, combining machine and human strengths for resonance. Much like autopilot aids pilots while still needing a captain's judgment. What do you think? Does this middle ground seem feasible? I'd love to hear your perspectives in the comments. Now that we've covered speech and video, let's explore the music side of AI audio next. Where generating viable viral hits from text prompts alone was once unthinkable, until now. So with all these AI audio advancements, how do we decide what tools suit our needs? With options galore optimizing for voiceovers, music, podcasts, and more, prioritizing use cases and budget helps narrow the playing field. Looking to mint a viral track? User-friendly Mubert satisfies music ambassadors and professionals alike. Producing studio grade masters out of Landar only costs $20 monthly. Descript's 10-day free trial lets podcasters test drive its full transcription toolkit. If budget is no barrier and customization is king, splurge on Murph.ai with its uncompressed WeWav exports and granular voice tweaking. Extensive libraries like Eleven Labs' 1000 plus options guarantee voiceover variety, while Resemble.ai's voice cloning niche remains unmatched for vocal impersonation. For casual creators and early prototyping, free tiers like Play.ht's monthly allowance or Mubert's genre samples should suffice. The quality trade-off buys time to validate ideas without investment. Ultimately, know your use case and map tools to those sweet spots. AI audio now empowers anyone, from home musicians to international filmmakers. Unprecedented access to quality means more experimentation with less risk. More competition? Absolutely, as sonically decent projects are table stakes thanks to automation. But limitations still abound for AI conquering mastery. We see this with music algorithms stuck in genre boxes, unable to break through through inventiveness alone, while text-to-speech engines still falter capturing nuance. Make no mistake though, AI audio has progressed remarkably, disrupting overnight. Yet the human touch remains vital for resonance. Perhaps we should choose tools that complement strengths rather than replace them entirely. An augmented future likely awaits, blending machine and human audio achievements. That symbiosis stands to benefit amateurs and experts alike. So while AI continues excelling on accuracy, we creators must double down on vulnerability, creativity, and empathy. That's our edge and job security. What does this mean for you? How will you incorporate audio AI moving forward? What stuck most from our discussion? Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this glimpse into AI's audio takeover, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay updated. Also, let me know in the comments. Will you be using any AI tools in your next project? I love reading your perspectives. This is your host signing off for now, but the AI revolution continues.